this motivational minute is on how to be an effective communicator. As you are going through and uh, making sure that you are going toward your success, most of the time, this isn't always, but in order to hopefully guarantee your success, it's going to take you being an effective communicator. Ready to get back to the workforce, for sure, awesome. Check out my website, you'll see some tips on what you can do when you get back to the workforce to maximize your efforts. But it's, it's essential to be an uh, effective communicator to be successful. Now, not everyone who is successful is an effective communicator, but those who are effective communicators have a better chance and have a better opportunity to go further in their success. It's someone who knows how to get to the point. What's up, Mary Lynn's? What's up, Car uh, Caruso? It's about getting to the point. It's about knowing what you're saying. It's about articulating it correctly. It's about your body language. It's about your posturing. It's about your hand, how your hand movement. Uh, it's about do you rock and dance when you're talking or do you stand and deliver? I am uh, in love. I am a, uh, a Toastmaster, former Toastmaster. What's up, Mary Lynn's? I used to compete for the World Championship of Public Speaking. And uh, when the kids were born, I took a little pause from Toastmasters, but I loved it because it's a structured format to get comfortable speaking in front of people. Back in the day, look, I've been speaking for 20 years. Right now, I'm a mid-level manager for those who don't know me. I have 150 people that d report directly to me, another 50 indirect people. So I'm managing people all day long. I do remember you, Mary Lynn. Thanks for tuning in. Um, have you done any TED Talks? I have not done any TED Talks, actually. I'm going to look into that. that uh, they always seem fun when they do the TED Talks. What's up, Sabrina? Thanks for tuning in. So when you're with Toastmasters, it's an amazing organization that really helps you get comfortable in front of people. And back in the day, I always used to, I used to rock. I used to dance when I was talking. And when I'm talking, I would dance and move back and forth. And it wasn't on purpose. It was just the, the nervous energy and the excitement of presenting. I would rock. But I was like, you know what? I don't seem to be as effective. I think people are being distracted by my rocking, being distracted by non-purposeful hand movements. So let me work on those things. Toastmasters, for me, provided that opportunity to make sure that I was good, to make sure that I had purposeful hand movement, appropriate gestures. I'm not rocking the whole time. So as I'm presenting, you are trying to understand what I'm saying, but you're paying attention to my sway. And also, I used to work with Monster.com making it count. And one of the coolest things that they did for me was they actually made me stand on two sheets of paper and not move while giving my presentations. It was hard. Because a lot of times when we're speaking in front of people, more pe most people would rather die than to, uh, people love stories, 100%. Most people would rather die than to give a, uh, give a speech in front of people, but, for those of you all that are on these scopes, every day you're working on yourself, you're committed to your success, you're committed to wanting to grow and to prosper and to walk in your success, you are going to have to be able to be an effective communicator. You never know what to say, but that's where planning comes in. When you're an effective communicator, you know what you want to say as you're going in front of people. You, love, you know what you're, thank you for, the, for uh, acknowledging my passion. You know what you're going to say, what you're going to talk about, what your points are. And then as you're talking about your points, you get more and more comfortable. It's about reps. It's about reps. If anybody is a golfer, if you don't hit the golf ball every single day and get your reps in, you're not going to be an effective golfer. The same goes with presenting. The same thing goes with communicating. When you're communicating with your friends, it's the best avenue to practice effective communication. Stand and deliver. When you have something to say, focus like, you're, like you're, you're, your legs are the roots of a tree. And you don't want those roots to move. So you stand and you deliver what you have to say. And you work on your hand movements to make sure that your gestures are correct. To make sure your movements are correct. Because it is weird and it is, it, look, if I did this, the whole time while I'm doing my periscope, you guys would be like, man, he needs to stop moving. This is distracting. And it's even funny because on a periscope, you get to see how distracting that kind of movement is. Now, I guarantee that many of you, when you talk, you accidentally do this because you're not thinking about, yeah, seasick, right? So imagine how people are when they're trying to have a solid communication with you, but you're moving back and forth and you're getting seasick. And as you're doing your thing, as you are communicating, the more effective you are, the more of a, of a stance and a posturing that you have, I'm done, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry for making y'all dizzy. But the more comfortable you are in front of people, 
the more you can articulate your points, articulate your perspective, let people know how you're feeling, what you're feeling, what you need, then that makes it so that way as you're working toward your success, you know how to communicate accordingly. Um, Perfect, you found two Toastmasters in your town. You can go to Toastmasters for free and participate and it's an encouraging, encouraging environment where everyone is there for your success. They are cheering you on, they are laughing with you, they are joking with you, they are there to critique you in a positive way so that when you leave a Toastmasters session, you understand the little things that need to be done to make sure that you are successful. Um, it's always powerful if you can be interactive, 100%. As you're doing your presentations, interact with the group. Oftentimes, I'll ask you all questions. Most times, I'm driving, but I, when I'm driving, I try to exercise safe driving techniques. But when I'm here on Scope, the more you can interact with your audience, the more people see that you're human. The more people see that you're real. The more people see that you are one of them. Oftentimes, when a speaker is just... All right, here's today's lesson. You need to do this. You need to do that. It's hard to connect with that person that's doing the presentation. And the, the biggest thing about effective communication is making sure that you can connect with your audience. You guys are amazing because you guys show me and prove to me that I'm connecting with y'all on a daily basis. And uh, David Letterman and Kevin James says, tell us about to save the lives. Hey, 100%. There is no better way to learn how to be an effective communicator than through Toastmasters. Now, while there is a better way, you can get career coaching from me if you don't have a Toastmasters in your area, danielpferguson.com, but check it out. But uh, you're welcome for the confirmation. Toastmasters is amazing. And in my career coaching sessions, those are some of the things that we talk about. Presentation skills. How do you make sure you put your best foot forward how can you showcase who you are in every scenario, in every setting? And that's one of the cool things that Toastmasters does. I am here to help you guys get started and take your success to the next level. And in taking your success to the next level, if you decide to do Toastmasters like I did, wonderful. If you decide to, to um, join in and, and help me start your process with the career coaching, let's do it. What's up, Torian? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, I met Torian a couple days ago. He's a, he's a brother that's got, he's got a lot going for him. He's got a good head on his shoulders and he's, and he's driven. And I'm excited to see that, Torian. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, what's up, MC? Thanks for joining. But thank you all for the hearts. I love it. You guys have been giving me so many hearts this session. But this was just a quick one. On your road to success, you want to be an effective communicator. How can you speak if you're afraid to fail? Here's the thing. You, you've got you've to step out on faith. You've got to step out there and just do it. And the first time it is the absolute hardest time to step out there in front of a group because you're afraid you're going to stutter. You're afraid you're going to forget your points. If you need to, have a sheet of paper that's got your talking points on it. And if need be, read it. Read it a couple sentences and then glance up at everybody else. And then read a couple sentences and then glance up at somebody else. And look, you can't get better without going through, as you said, the comfort zone, 100%. You gotta step out of your comfort zone to hit success. Everybody who is successful has found out how to step out of their comfort zone and maximize those opportunities. It's just that simple, but it's just that hard. So for today's Motivational Minute, is just encouraging you guys to be effective communicators. Become great communicators because those who are the best at communicating oftentimes reach success way greater and way higher than anybody else. It means that you can communicate with people effectively. It means that you're confident in front of a crowd. It means that nobody can take what you have got. And as you said, Bill Gates has failed way more times than he succeeded. Oprah failed way more times than she succeeded. Obama failed way more times. Like, there's so many people that have failed way more times than they have succeeded. But, but, if you fail, can you pick yourself up and go again? What does uh, Aaliyah say back in the day? If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. You gotta try again. Hey, just like Aaliyah said in, uh, was it Romeo Must Die? Great movie. I remember seeing it in ninth grade. Great, great movie, but it's true. And uh, as, uh, uh, was it Donnie McClurkin or Marvin Sapp? No, Donnie McClurkin. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down. All right, that's enough singing for the day. But <laughs> uh, the, in order to hit your success, you've got to be able to pick yourself up after failure and move forward and learn from it. The challenge is, is if you don't learn from your failure, then you're bound to repeat it. I'll say that again. The challenge is if you don't learn from your failure, you're bound to repeat it. 
But for this, keep singing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so <laughs> not tonight, maybe another night, maybe another night. But I challenge you all to step it out tonight. Become effective communicators in everything that you do. So that way, as you're going towards your success, your success will happen organically because you're able to articulate, you're able to show your confidence, you're able to show that you know what you're doing, and you've got people interacting with you and listening to you because of your presence. Because of your presence, because of your presence. Don't worry, be happy, don't worry. I'll be happy. All right, I'm done. Um, for tonight's Motivational Minute, I'm going to end like I end every single night. Remember, words bring life. Speak them into existence. Your greatness is waiting. Thank you all for the hearts. November 19th is our deadline. We're going to hit it. We're going to we're gonna smash that deadline of 50,000 hearts. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be here tomorrow. Consistency is key. And I'm showing you guys that every day when I'm here on the Periscope consistently motivating you all as well as motivating myself. But for tonight, thank you for tuning in. Check out my website, danielpferguson.com, danielpferguson.com. Oh, yeah. If you haven't already, go to your social channels. Wish at FitMomFergie, at FitMomFergie. Happy birthday. Thank you all for the hearts. Thank you for the love. I truly, truly appreciate y'all. Keep doing what I do. I, I, I will. I will because of people like you all that are watching, you, my virtual family, my virtual friends. I believe in y'all, and y'all apparently believe in me. So thank you for your time. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Keep the hearts coming. Uh, uh, share this so people can watch it on the replay so they can get these nuggets also. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, and have a good night. Take care.